channel thank you guys for tuning in all right guys join me today for a comparison between the reef tiger uh, cocktail time homage uh, versus the seiko presage cocktail time now i just released a video on the reef tiger and i mentioned in that video one of my primary uh, you know incentives uh, to buy this reef tiger was so i could ultimately compare it to my Seiko Presage cocktail time. Let's start off with the specifications. So on my left, the Seiko Presage, you get a 4R35 movement, which is the equivalent to NH35. And on the Reef Tiger, you get a NH36. The difference being, as you can see, the day and date function. Both movements are from Seiko. Both use a 24 uh, joule hand winding and hacking movement which beats at 21,600 beats per hour. So you get this relatively smooth uh, sweep of six ticks per second. Now, further to that, material-wise, um, the Seiko Presage uses a Harlex crystal, and it does have a stainless steel uh, case and bracelet, and it also comes with 40 meters of water resistance. And the Reef Tiger, has a sapphire crystal, a domed sapphire, might I add, and stainless steel bracelet, stainless steel case, and this also comes with 50 meters of water resistance, of course, because they're both dress watches. So it doesn't need to be anything more than that. Dimensions, both watches, they come in very, very close. Uh, so Reef Tiger have done a pretty decent job uh, in getting the dimensions right. So on the left, the Presage comes in at 40 millimeters of rounded it down slightly um, in actual if you want to get um, specific uh, or accurate it's about 40.5 now on the reef tiger it's 40.4 so not much difference and thickness on the presage is 12 mil whereas the reef tiger is 11.3 the log to log on both watches is the same it's 47 uh, point four on the presage and 47.6 so 0.2 um, mil of difference log log width is 20 mil between both so if someone were to just do a comparison um, if they see this reef tiger on aliexpress and they've wanted to presage dimensionally you know um, especially by specifications the reef tiger will be the choice to go for just due to the fact that it's got sapphire um, and it's got a NH36. But as I mentioned when I reviewed the Reef Tiger, more, it, um, well, more isn't always better. Really understand how well the Reef Tiger does against the Seiko cocktail time. Um, we need to understand what the specialty of this Seiko is. This boasts this amazing guilloche metallic twilight blue. I mean, there's so much going on on this dial. Um, so many dimensions to the actual dial and that depth of color the gradient in the dial so that is the specialty of the cocktail time now obviously this watch the reef tiger has quite a lot of work to do uh, for it to stand up against it now looking at the smaller details on the dial so as i just said both dials are in fact gear shape you know credit to reef tiger for trying a, a machine turned dial and just so they can get quite close to the actual presage so credit where credit is due but comparing that to the presage you've got this gradiented black and blue um, and you've got this metallic center to the actual dial and then you get this amazing reflection uh, where you can catch that gorgeous um, sun ray pattern now i don't know if this will be visible on camera let me just uh, drop that light just so you don't get any glare the actual lines those straight lines on the actual dial they are a lot finer on the presage so look I'm pretty sure you can see it in comparison to the reef tiger where you can see they are a lot thicker and obviously a lot more visible and that's going to add to the overall finish of the dial. You almost get this satin-like sheen coming across onto the presage. 
Now the second biggest thing is obviously the, the gradient and the depth of the collar on the Presage whereas the Reef Tiger, you know, there is no dual collar, there is no two-tone, no gradient. You do get that sunray effect which is quite similar to the Presage of course but that blue is uh, it's still a single shade of blue. And I know straight away what I prefer, the Presage looks so much better. Now. This is where Reef Tiger have done really well. Let's look at the applied markers and the hands. So both watches in fact use dagger style applied markers with the chamfered edges on either side. And Reef Tiger have done an amazing job uh, in using these applied hour markers. The thing is they're not, quite, they're not very difficult to create. Um, you've got chamfer edges on either side and you've got this center where it's flat, highly polished. It's the fact that you really need to have a good level of QC because it's, there is such a high polish on this. Um, you need to really make sure it stays clean. And on both sides, there there is a slight difference to Presage, if you must know. Um, we're down the center line of the actual dagger uh, indice, index here. You can see it's the flat area is quite wider um, compared to the Reef Tiger. Now the hands, similar, both use these Dauphin style hands and they do have similar seconds hand. Now the difference being this now, I don't think uh, you will be able to see just by the camera. Um, the polishing on the Seiko is a lot better, it's a lot cleaner uh, and it's so clean that you can't really see any debris or any small, small particles of dust. Whereas on the Reef Tiger, and again, I'm not too sure if you can see this on the camera properly. Let's try and give you the best there. Can you see? Cross the hands. You can see this almost, that's perfect there. You can see this grainy texture. Even though they are polished, that could be down to QC, that could be down to just production. Um, but yeah, but that again is upon close inspection. So from arm's length, they both look pretty great. The second hand on the Presage is noticeably thinner than the one on the Reef Tiger and also this skeletal um, leaf on the stem of the second hand is slightly more elongated on the Presage than it is on the Reef Tiger. Now staying on what's been applied to the dial, the, the date window on the Presage just has rounded corners but a similar finish to the one on the Reef Tiger. This has got obviously edgier corners and this is rectangular because it shows you the date and date. Logos, Seiko uses an applied Seiko logo at the 12 o'clock and you've got Presage Automatic at six. Now the Presage Automatic is printed, but it's not white, it's almost silvery in color. Uh, and the Reef Tiger just went for the white and at 12, 6 p.m. Same thing, Profit automatic versus presage automatic but reef tiger went with the white paint now i did mention and that is something particular to the watch so i don't want to try and penalize reef tiger too much uh, it's just to the specific watch where that logo is just slightly it's not sitting straight it's just slightly tilted uh, from the left hand side that can happen obviously it's you know a qc issue as well um seiko are not unknown for qc issues as well so that that needs to be uh, mentioned as well and minute tracks um, and seconds track is on both watches both do have a printed one however the presage is look how clear that printing is very visible and again that is the similar uh, that is similar to the color used on the logo at the 6 p.m it's like this silver leaf or just silver really um, whereas the minute track it's white but because of how thick you see that those geometric lines or straight lines um, the track looks almost faded on some parts so it isn't as visible as it is on the presage cocktail now let's check out this crystal on both watches now the reef tiger as mentioned it does come with a domed sapphire crystal to give you this distortion effect however it's there is a slight dome on the top uh, and it does give you this distortion right in the center um, but the dial you can still see 
very clearly. Uh, and this is what Reef Tiger has over the Presage. I think Seiko should have included a Sapphire Crystal, but I'll tell you why it's quite difficult. Um, you know, Sapphire Crystals that are, how can I say, reasonably standard. So domed, double domed, flat, um, chamfered edges, no chamfered edges. As long as it's a normal shape, they're readily available um, from all the suppliers. But when you want something bespoke like this, bubble glass sort of crystal this um some people call this a box style crystal it is considerably uh more expensive They're not create. cheap uh, depending on the model when they came out this is quite old now you're still looking at around 300 pounds second hand uh, but the second hand market is absolutely bonkers at the moment um but brand new you are looking around 350 uh to around the 500 pound mark recently um seiko you know they have on a few ranges just killed the range off like the skx for example however they've continued the lineage of the presage which i really like so they've gone for a different style uh, of dial they've got a sub dial present on some of the watches they've got different colors now uh, and the presage sort of range has expanded into enamel had into automatic chronograph so that range has expanded quite a bit uh, and they can some of them can go up to 11 1200 pounds which is crazy but sticking to the cocktail time um you you might be looking on some of the new models around the 500 pound mark so i think I, they could have squeezed in a sapphire crystal but the beauty of this crystal is what you'll see here is that second hand appears due to the curvature appears to just slightly bend and curve around the dial and that looks fantastic I can't tell you how nice that looks looking at that while you're wearing the watch so even though it's not sapphire it's not be all end all uh, this watch is made for aesthetics over functionality so, so the fit and finish of this crystal also you'll notice is how it sits against that bezel and the case you can see how the is more or less in line let's see if I can show that off a bit better to see look how well line that is so great attention to detail, fit and finish. That's what ultimately makes the watch. The fit and finish on this isn't too bad as well. Uh, and because that's due to the fact of the bezel used on this uh, Reef Tiger, they've gone for a dual style bezel, um, which looks okay. It does not look bad at all. At all. And, you know, just judging it by itself, um, the crystal does look pretty nice. And fit and finish is also there. The Passage just has a single normal bezel around the watch case. Now this brings us on to the watch case itself. Both uh, are 316L stainless steel and both are polished. So the finishing on both is pretty much the same obviously and they do have a few design differences. You can see the Passage here just offers a cleaner look on the case whereas the reef tiger gives you this slightly rounded curvature in the center of the case and the lugs are curved as well now let's look at the crown both use a signed crown and the crowns obviously don't screw in but seiko uses this lovely cupcake style crown and uh, just look at the machining on that very smooth um, for you know the the ridges on here it is very smooth very easy to grip and of course you've got this s now this interestingly enough is a distinguishing feature between an original seiko presage and the india special um fake presage well, if you don't know about it i do have a video um and you can check that if you want and that replica i'm telling you it is so good so good but it's still a replica the crown on this obviously is a lot smaller uh, and it does seem to match the watch case absolutely 
I don't it, it depends how close they want you to get to the presage. Um so maybe it's not a necessity to have a crown uh, just like the presage. Now let's move on to the case back. This is again where the Seiko is going to shine. So you can see on the Reef Tiger you've got the NH36 movement. Um, you know, aesthetically it looks okay. It's not hideous. Um, they haven't gone for any different colours though. Usually what you'll find on movements that do have open case backs is a bit of decoration. Um, especially from micro brands. They do like to personally sign them. Um, even if they still are NH35 movements or NH36s. Cocktail time. Just take a look at that. So they've got a decorated rotary weight uh, and I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. I think just the tone of gold is just right as well. It's not that uh, really light yellow, it's proper gold. And you've got Seiko, you know, all the specifications engraved there. Seiko Time Corp, 24 joules. And of course, on the case back, you do have Seiko and all the usual stuff engraved. Same thing with the Reef Tiger. Um, that's it on the case. Now let's check out both bracelets and see how they compare. Just so I can break down the features uh, and the construction of both bracelets. Um, the Reef Tiger, you get a fully polished bracelet and it comes with this seven link design and you get this butterfly clasp with the logo, Reef Tiger, um, and the word actually written down. Uh, and for me, this way, uh, if this is their logo, the T and the R, then I don't know what this applied um, clover design is. But anyway, um, butterfly clasp, and the bracelet does taper from 20 millimeters right down to 18 millimeters. And then with the presage, you've got a five link bracelet and you've got a mixture of polished and the two links in the center uh, are polished, sorry, and the three links are brushed. The sides of the links are fully polished. You also get uh, the butterfly clasp and the same taper as the Reef Tiger, which is 20 mil down to 18 mil. The butterfly clasps on both, um, they do the same thing. Functionality is exactly the same, although the design is just slightly different. You can see just the difference in clasp. They both have a positive click, and I mentioned this in the Reef Tiger review that you know these bracelets uh, you can get them anywhere on AliExpress, and the the feature which you're looking for, which it needs to do, is it needs to click and engage correctly, nicely. Um, and also release perfectly fine and that just depends on this central mechanism here you need to have decent springs and it needs to be machined pretty well so it's not catching so that click quite satisfying um, this is just slightly different and equally as satisfying now before I conclude I would like to talk about the uh, well, I say problems, but things that I dislike between both. Uh, and before I do that, I do want to put them both on my wrist. So this calls for the wrist check. What am I currently wearing? I'm wearing the Proxima MM300 Beast Watch. Absolute beast. So we can put him away. So let's put the presage on. Now usually I do have my presage on a leather strap. I prefer these watches on leather uh, straps. I think they look absolutely awesome. Uh, it gives it a really vintage and classy style. But for the purpose of the review, I did swap it out for my stainless steel bracelet. This comparison has been um, quite good for me, actually, because it's helped me understand a few uh, problems that I find not, not only the Reef Tiger, but actually with the Presage. Uh, and I do really like this watch. Um, it's, a, it's a keeper. I don't wear it as often uh, as I should. But this is a very particular watch. It needs to be worn on occasions and, you know, uh, under a suit. Now, the problems that I've found, let's start off with the OEM brand, the Seiko, uh, is I don't like this date window. I think the dial is 
such a thing of beauty on this watch and it needs to be fully appreciated that there shouldn't be a date window especially on dress watch as well there's no actual requirement for it now this is where the newer cocktail time presages come in um, where they do have a sub dial just below the main hour dial which gives you the date functionality and it doesn't ruin the actual dial and they have you know uh, made it a part of the dial you can google pictures check out the different variants um, some of them do look really stunning uh, and as gorgeous as this one on my wrist uh, and the same applies obviously for the reef tiger where you've got this massive date and date window again it what do you want to be so uh, with china they will throw all types of materials at you specifications at you so you end up with spec monsters but not things which people have necessarily thought about and i think true watch collectors will pick on these things you'll pick up on them and say hang on a minute i didn't actually need this so you know is this trying to be a sports watch uh sporty casual watch or a dress watch that is my question basically but if you are trying to emulate presage you know they've made a mistake trying to go one step further uh, and that just it doesn't need to be there you need to have a just a nicer dial and just appreciate that dial and uh, that's one of the things so that's the issue on both really more so on the reef tiger because there's just a bigger gap um, now there is one more thing on the Seiko which to be honest I didn't really think about until I, I done the review and the comparison today and I'm gonna point you to this crown and it, what about the crown just the, the positioning of it now on his side the crown I think for me sits just a little high and I think it should be just slightly lower so you can have a look there you can just see a gap there uh, aesthetically that's really not pleasing and I only picked up on it today actually uh, while doing this comparison and I think what it should have done is load it slightly if possible and then just subset this crown in slightly just so it sits in maybe put a little you know um, semicircle just carved it slightly into the case and just pushed it in just ever so slight I think that would have been perfect um, the crown on the reef tiger is okay it's small um, but you can still use it pretty well and any other issues on the presage well i will say the sapphire crystal i touched upon that but just earlier on um, and i think for the price range especially with what the new models the asking price for them uh, the rrp and they should definitely include include sorry a sapphire but saying that the new range might have you i'm not too sure i didn't really check out the new range once i bought one uh, that was it for me to be honest I haven't looked at getting another cocktail time I just wanted to just one for my collection um, because I'm a Seiko collector for me this is a must-have um, here uh, just another issue which was uh, this logo you know it, it was slightly off-center and I just want more on this style really on its own the watch is really good actually um, but when it is trying to put yourself up against um, such a watch then I think they should have just put a little bit more effort on the actual dial uh, maybe even with a similar kind of crystal because we do see them we see them on the San Martins um, and we've seen them on the Heimdaller just the 62 mass model um, and so it is doable so it's not like it's impossible and maybe even going as far as decorating the exhibition case back similar to that of the Seiko I mean right now if you've gone this far why not hey but overall I'd say this is a fantastic watch um, it, it really is hopefully you don't get that slight uh, misalignment um, but if you are looking at getting this um, or you want to watch similar like this go for the presage if it's affordable to you definitely I wouldn't even look elsewhere because it's quite difficult to homage this um, I did mention China do replicas but those as far as I can tell those are still genuine dials I don't know where they get them from but um, those are still genuine dials absolutely and so that's that for this comparison I hope you find it beneficial I hope you enjoyed this review um, and I hope you learned something like I, I learned something you know about the presage today so Thank you everyone for tuning in.
thank you for all your consistent support your comments uh, and you know just staying tuned into the channel i really appreciate it and i will see you on the next review thank you